Okay guys, so I've got my queenless hive. First and foremost, before you do anything, you have to make sure you do not have a queen in this hive. If you install a queen in this hive and they already have a queen, they will not accept your queen and you just threw money down the drain, okay? Also, if there are any queen cells in the hive, I would cut them down because if she manages to hatch out before they release your queen, same thing will happen. Okay, so I've got a queenless hive here. I've got my queen. She looks good. She's alive. All of her attendants are alive. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pop the cork on the candied end, okay? So you can do this um, one of a couple different ways. I'm just gonna use my hive tool, but I strongly recommend something like a nail or something makes this very easy. Make sure you don't harm any of the bees in the process, okay? Okay, so I have popped the cork on the candy end. Now, I'm gonna take a small, you could use your nail, I'm just gonna use a small stick here, and I'm just gonna poke a tiny hole in the candy, just to give them a little bit of a head start. Okay, again, be mindful, don't poke your queen, and don't poke all the way through so that the workers and the queen has a way to get out. Okay, now, I'm gonna get into my hive, and I'm going to place her in between two frames of brood. So let me dig around here and find a couple of frames of brood. So here we have a frame of brood. One thing I wanna point out to you guys, this is honey up here and nectar up here. You don't wanna push your queen into any honey or nectar it will drown her. But I've got one frame of brood here and I have another frame of brood right here, okay? So I'm just gonna make space for her in the nest. And I'm gonna take my queen. Now, whether you install candy side down or candy side up is one of the many, many areas of beekeeping where beekeepers don't agree. I always install mine candy side down. Um, other beekeepers will argue for candy side up, particularly if there are any dead attendants in the cage. You don't want the attendants to block the hole, the exit hole. I've done candy side down for years and it works really well for me. If the opposite works for you, then you should do that. I don't know that it much matters. Okay, so I'm going to place her very carefully. Now, what you do wanna make sure is that you're putting the cage not up against a frame of brood, okay? You wanna make very sure that you're putting the two sides of the wooden cage in between the two frames of brood, never pushing the screen into the brood. Okay, so I'm just going to gently place her inside like so, and then push the frames together carefully. and place my last frame in the hive. And that's it, we will come back in a week, make sure she's released and she should be laying. If she's not released in a week, cut open the cage, let her out. If she's released but not laying, come back again in a few days and just make sure. If you don't see eggs at that point, you may want to reach out to your breeder. But hopefully you do. That means you've accepted her all as well and she's good to go. And that's how you install a queen.